friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis in this case i want to show capsulorexis very clearly then direct chop and bimanual irrigation aspiration let us observe the steps by this time the main incision and two side ports have been made and now i want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract underneath this air bubble and here goes the tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble if you apply tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble staining is immediate now wash the dye out and then inject 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and fill up the anterior chamber the visco is applied over the corneal epithelium also for better visibility and now see the rexis the anterior capsule has been incised with a 26 case bent needle and now with the help of the utreta the capsular tag is held and it is guided anti clockwise and around rexis is done the size of this rexis is ideal it is about 5 mm or 5.25 mm and this is going to overlap the optic of the intraocular lens all around we will see that later now this is hydro dissection the fluid wave should go to the opposite equator then tap the nucleus and mobilize the nucleus and now inject visco again and see how to chop this nucleus the tip of the fico hand piece is introduced and the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped like this now the nucleus is rotated and the tip is buried at another place and it is chopped here again it is rotated the nucleus is held at another place and it is chopped so bury the tip completely come back to aspiration hold the nuclear mass and chop it and now this emulsification of the nuclear fragments in this case will be done in the capsular bag so we have to divide each fragment into smaller parts by chopping it further and then emulsify each nuclear fragment and remove it and now this is one fragment ultrasonic energy being used to emulsify these fragments in this case is 65% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury the nucleus is little harder i thought it is grade 3 nucleus sclerosis but it appears to be grade 3 plus or even grade 4 you can see the brown tinge of the nuclear fragments all the fragments are being emulsified within the capsular bag the tip of the fico hand piece is at the plane of the anterior capsule or just below the plane of the anterior capsule and here this is the last portion of the nucleus 
it is emulsified and removed but there are one or two small bits of nucleus and these nuclear bits should be removed before removal of the cortical matter. It is very easy to remove the nuclear, small nuclear pieces by Simco cannula. You can just escort the piece out like this. Unless you remove this first, if you use bimanual IA, the aspiration port will be frequently clogged, frequently blocked by these small nuclear pieces. And now see how nicely you can remove the cortical matter by bimanual irrigation aspiration. Yes more than half of the cortical matter has been removed now the irrigation is from the left and aspiration from the right and now this is the portion of the cortex the final portion it is removed posterior capsule appears very clean so there is no need to polish the posterior capsule in this case and now visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and then this is a foldable lens being implanted in the capsular bag and now the lens is rotated to place the haptics about one about 90 degree away from the main incision and then what viscoelastic substance is nicely cleaned by simco as well as bimanual irrigation aspiration thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is necessary to avoid post of rise of intraocular pressure. And now the this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are then hydrated always hydrate the scleral side of the wound otherwise there can be Desmet's membrane detachment DMD and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time, whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. The antichamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills, respect, empathy and compassion.